Aika and welcome to another video. What? Hey guys, it's Aika and welcome to another video. So for today, I thought of bringing you guys along on another adventure at the Surf Star. I passed by the outside of the store yesterday and I saw that they were having a 50% off sale. And you guys know I can't pass up a sale, especially a sale at the Surf Star. It's just not gonna happen I have to go so yeah I'm gonna bring you guys along and stay tuned till the end of this video because I will be doing a try on thrift haul as well I did buy a bunch of stuff in my previous thrift trips it's time to go now I'm so excited I'm so happy I know I'm gonna be seeing a bunch of stuff that I like at the thrift store I'm just putting it out there Surf gods please bless me ladies and gentlemen I keep forgetting to stop wearing like lip products on my lips because I'm gonna end up putting a mask on. that I got really reflect my style. I'm into the late 90s and early 2000s style and I'm so so excited because you're gonna be seeing a lot of like Argyle prints, camisole tops, and just random things in here because I'm into different colors and patterns and I love everything. So yeah, let's just get started because I feel like we're gonna take a while. So I have here one pile and these are the ones that I ordered online. Here in Japan, you can order from Mercury. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. The first one is actually one of my favorites. It's this um, light pink halter top and it has some floral details, some white floral details here at the bottom. I don't know, it reminds me of Barbie. Camisole tops and like lingerie looking tops are really hard to find here in Japan. I think the thrift stores are a little like icky about like getting cancel tops just for like hygiene purposes but I did find this dark purple camisole with some polka dots on it and it has some lace details here at the top. I've been trying to stop myself from cutting clothes. I want to sell them in the future like in the Philippines so yeah I don't wanna ruin the item and I've been doing this thing where I put the bottom part inside so it looks kind of fitted. When I was scrolling through the website one day, I found a set of, what do you call this, Playboy tops. I got a set of four for like 1,000 yen or 2,000 yen. I'm not sure, I think 2,000 yen. This one was the top I wore in the intro of this video. It just has Hollywood here in front and it's a pink tie-dye tank. The next one is just this black t-shirt. It has a pink lettering in front. Just a basic black shirt and it has this bunny detailing here at the back as well. I got another shirt and this one's a little big on me but I really love the logo here in front. It's so fun and the color is red, you know, so flattering on and it just really catches your eye. I've never worn this though yet though. What? I've never worn this yet. I've never worn this yet though because it's too big on me. Just your plain old regular Playboy tank. I also found this Juicy Couture t-shirt online and I love the, the color combination like the light pink, dark pink and this light green shade. I don't know. I love this and I love wearing this as like a baby tee. Like I fold it also at the bottom and then I just tie the extra fabric at the back so it looks really fitted and it looks so flattering on. I have this thing where I get like weird colorful things at the thrift store. I don't know why but I just like weird things. I got this halter top in this fun color yellow, blue, dark green 
and white. My brother was judging me when he saw me like get this. It's really cute. It reminds me of like late 90s style. When I was going through the kids section, I found this Argyle print vest. Oh my god, you guys. It looked so cute on. I'm just so excited to wear this one. I'm not sure if it's BB or Bebe. I think it's BB. I got this BB black top and it has the, you know, original BB logo here in front has some rhinestones on it. So fun. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know that I have been watching like really old films, specifically like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I love her main character look in there. Like her style is just like really good. So I found this um, see through button down, kind of like office girl inspired top. Looks like a teacher, but I like it a lot. When I was going through the sales section at the thrift store, I found this cute yellow tank. It screams summer. It looks really sporty to me, like a preppy tennis girl player. I found this UNIF inspired top. It just has lace trimmings here at the top and I don't know what you call this, but kind of like pleatings here in the middle. I have been loving UNIF clothing, like their style lately, but they're just so expensive. So I try to look for affordable options at the thrift store. I also got another black top, black camisole top. This one has polka dot details on it. And I love the front part of it because it has some ruffles here that goes down. It's so flattering, even if I don't have like you guys know. I feel like it's an advantage though because I can wear like tops like this without it being or without it looking too revealing. I found this one at the kids area. I love the plaid details. Like it's not too loud. It's just like a minimal kind of pattern. I also found this top at the sale area. So it was 100 yen. That's around like 50 pesos in the Philippines. But what really attracted me to this was the collar. The collar palette. It ties in here as like a halter top so cute i have been looking for a sweater vest at the thrift store but sadly i only got one it's cute it's kind of cropped already so i don't really have to do anything to it i got a bunch of baby tees at the thrift store so this one's a ralph lauren baby tee and the color is super cute and i love the fit of this also i feel like every baby tee has a good fit that's why people like it that's why i like it i also got this um navy blue baby tee with this dragon details here at the side it looks so badass i love this one i actually found this at the boys area this one's by the brand fila and i kind of want to cut this i'm not sure yet but yeah it just gives off this sporty tomboy vibes and i got another one i found another vest but this one's an adidas one and it has this lining here at the sides it looks so preppy i love it and also not sure if i'm gonna cut this one we'll see about that i actually went to the thrift store looking for some dresses just because i want something that i can just put on then call it a day it ties in here at the back really flowy and super breezy i can't wait to wear this one the next stop i found at the 3 4 100 yen area so this one's like around 20 pesos each i don't have the others because they're not that cute so i didn't include them in this vlog but this one's super duper cute it has this like silvery kind of tint to it it's something really different from what i typically wear but it gives off that gothic kind of energy this one's one of the softest tops i've gotten from the thrift store it's this gap t-shirt with rhinestones here in front oh my god so fun super y2k vibes but guys oh my god if you can touch it here right now oh my god i wish you can because it's so soft like i wasn't expecting a gap shirt to be this soft but this one's by the brand tommy he'll figure it says rock and roll diva in front and at the back it's so cute Ta-da! it says tommy girl i feel like anything with pink on it i get so like attracted to it there's just something about me and pink i don't know now on to my next pile which is mostly like bottom bottoms and pants. I found this dark blue Lee mom jeans. It's just a staple, a basic. Can't really wear it now because it's too hot, but I love the fit of this one. And it's also not that heavy because I have another um, dark blue jeans at home, but it's super heavy so I can't really like bring it 
to me when I travel because it's just gonna take up too much space so yeah I'm so glad I found that one and then I found this Roxy skirt it looks big but you can actually like adjust it here in front I already wore this in an Instagram photo if you guys haven't followed me yet go and follow me on Instagram sis I don't really wear jackets that often I don't wear them because I don't have one so I got this one I found this at the sale area this one's a juicy couture black jacket it's just a plain one I found this plaid skirt it was way shorter when I first got it but you guys know I love short skirts just because my legs are kind of short I need my bottoms to be short for my legs to look long you guys know if you have short legs you'll understand I've been on a hunt for some bottoms lately just some fun bottoms because I feel like I have a lot of like colorful tops and a lot of tops in general but I don't really have that many like bottoms i got this black tennis skirt it's just really versatile i can pair it with a lot of my colorful tops oh i forgot about this bag i got this one from the thrift store it was only 100 yen i'm not sure if you're familiar with x girl but it's pretty popular here in japan so i'm so glad i found this one it's super cute i don't really buy shoes from the second hand store but i found these two when i found them they were still new like it still had the tags on them so the first one is just this mary jane platform shoes just some schoolgirl type of vibe and i love wearing this with white socks this was also super cheap i think it was below like 500 yen so mga 200 to 300 pesos also one of my faves it's this platform heels and it's super comfy. You guys know platform heels, talaga. they're very comfortable. And I feel like I'm wearing flats with it. That's how comfy it is. I'm holding it like this because I can't touch the bottom part because I use it already. I don't get how other YouTubers do that. Like they just hold up the shoe. I don't know. I get so it just freaks me out because you know that that's been everywhere outside. So I don't want to touch that. So those are all the clothing pieces that I got from the thrift store. If you want to see how I style them, then make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's just at iCalgustine. I have been posting a lot of photos in there. Nothing to do during quarantine, just putting some clothes together. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having the greatest day ever. And I'll see you all on my next video, which is next week. Bye guys!